cool stuff that I saw this week. Uh, this is actually kind of old, August, but uh, I'm, a, I'm a big proponent of augmented reality stuff, even more so than, than virtual reality stuff. Uh, as it is right now in 2021, December 18th, at least, even though this comes out a couple days later. Because uh, it's still like, you're still like Second Life and IMBU and all these Fortnite-ish type virtual worlds. But when you can uh, project that into a physical world via glasses or something else, wink, wink, then it gets a little cooler. found an article from a company called Mojo Vision. That is a uh, cramming AR technology, displays and processors, and wireless technology into a contact lens. So this was from August 25th, 2021. It's a startup. They embed AR display into contact lenses, providing a digital layer of information superimposed on what you see in the real world. Uh, the Mojo Lens centerpiece is a hexagonal display less than a half millimeter wide with a, each greenish pixel just a quarter of the width of a red blood cell. A femto projector, a tiny mag magnification system, expands the imagery optically and beams it to a central patch of the retina. So it brings in light, expands the image imagery optically and beams it to the central part patch of the retina. So basically, instead of these freaking clunky headwear, uh, Microsoft HoloLens, uh, they they go to they go to a nice contact lens incorporating AR augmented reality. Um, it says the product also could help athletes see how far they biked or how fast their heart is beating without checking other devices. Uh, that's something I kind of been a proponent for. It's kind of just like health stuff, health stuff with AR. Um, I was watching a thing and so you can imagine uh if you have a car right and there's these things called digital twins and you have a car and you have a, a digital twin representation of that car virtually or digitally and it, it tells you all the metrics that uh that uh has been compiled of the data of a car of how far it's gone um if the engine is bad if the combustion system is combusting wrong and you bring it into a shop shop guy has on glasses or in this case some contact lenses and uh, you, you you plug in the car with a computer or something or you download the data that the computer uploads somewhere and you can see like like a video game like the uh the hud i forget what that acronym is for um a HUD display and so you see you see these like a like you would see in the corner of your phone a batteries on on low you see in these glasses oh engine engine is on low and you can see like a a, a counter a countdown timer it's like oh it's 50 percent blah 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 so that the dashboard that you have of your car that lights up when something's wrong uh if you have an AR glasses on or AR contact lenses shows you right away oh you go to this place this says this wrong with it this is this much life left of it it's like a battery <clears throat> and then in the heads up display the hud display people and engineers uh mainly in enterprise can see some things with hardware via software uh these cats over at mojo vision the chief technology officer said we have got this almost working. It's very, very close. Lenses rigged with electronics, including a camera that captures the outside world. A computer chip processes the imagery, controls the display, and communicates wirelessly to external devices like a phone. Motion tracker that compensates for your eyes movement. And it's powered by a battery that's charged wirelessly overnight like a smartwatch. I think they said the battery only lasts a day, so they don't have to work on that. Mojo Vision contact lenses with ar display pp cool 